Hi friends. So today is Sunday. I have to go to work soon. So instead of like starting a painting today, cause I don't, I like starting and finishing the same day when it comes to like a smaller painting, big ones, not so much. Um, so I found this like cute garden picture on Pinterest. And if you follow me on Pinterest, you'll see them. Um, so I'm gonna do, I was thinking I'd do watercolor, but then I only have so much time. So I'm gonna do mainly Copic and alcohol markers and then some Prismacolor pencils and maybe some Posca pens this morning. We'll see. Cloth. All right, bye. Hello, friends. How are we doing? I hope well, I hope very well. How am I doing? Much gooder. Much, much gooder. <clears throat> Anyways, before I get into the 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 um meat of the sandwich, um whatever that means, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified. DOG, sir, I've decided to do my voiceover out in the living room in hopes that you would not bark and make me go off mentally. We pray for me right now, okay? So, um, yeah, I, um, I, wow. So I wanted to start off with something I haven't done in a while, which is a little, well, not quite. I drew like two, two videos ago or something, but I didn't, I don't, I just do like drawing and then that's it. And I used to do both, but so I thought I'd do both this time. And I really wanted to do like a warm up, especially because like this day I had to go to work. So I didn't want to like get into something, you know, that would take me forever. And because I, I just, with me, I like doing a painting in one go. Um, obviously not for like bigger pieces because that's, you just, this just doesn't, it doesn't work like that all the time. But yeah, so I wanted to do like, I don't I I see I see, like I see Lee Ellickson, Katie Moody, like all these people like drawing and like cute little stuff and it looks like they don't like try as hard as like like they're just kind of loosely going and then it turns out really cute and I wanted to do that. Um I don't know how cute this one came out. I think it's okay. But you know, I had a good time doing it cuz I wasn't really like forcing myself to make it good. So I just was playing around. So yeah, I think it turned out pretty decent for just an hour of a quick, quick something. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm still waking up, but I want to get this done so I can start the rest of my day and not have to worry about finishing editing and whatnot. So there's that. Um, okay, bye for now. <laughs> Friends, hello. Today's Monday. Good day. I have the day off. So today I'm gonna um, do another garden painting, I think. Um, not another. I drew yesterday. I'm like, uh, yeah, okay. And then um, you've already watched that part of the video. So in theory, you have. I haven't done any of the editing, any of the putting together. So in theory, you've watched it. But so I'm going to paint, um, I'm going to try and keep it kind of like loose, um, like some Katie Moody style. Um, yeah, I, I just, I love the texture, the looseness. She loves to play around with like multimedia. So I'm going to do that. Um, today I've got a good cup of coffee. Yesterday I ran out of creamer and so it was not good. So yeah, so I'm gonna paint, um, and then after I'm gonna walk to the cross with my mom. If you don't know what the cross is, because you don't live here, or you've never heard of it, look up, look, the cross, Mount Soledad in La Jolla, if you're wondering what I'm gonna go towards or walking to later on. Um, it's a very beautiful view. And it's a memorial for those who, um, for fallen soldiers. So it's a really cool place, good meaning, beautiful view. Like you get 360 view of like everywhere. 
and if I remember, I will add it to the video. But for now, we paint. Okay, I need to say this really quickly. So, spatter, spatty spatter. Um, it's gonna be a smaller painting now that I think about it, just because it's um. I only have so much time today. Well, okay, no, that's not true. I want to finish it before I walk with my mom. Um, maybe I'll do that, maybe not. But so I'm gonna also try not to waste more paper. Exhibit A, old me. Um, yeah, so there's all this. So I'm gonna do right here. And technically the photo, I just, yeah. So it's gonna be like, just bear with me for once i'm just kidding yeah so that's what's gonna that's what's the plan okay bye right so i was trying to go with the more loose kind of abstract just don't plan it just paint situation with this painting as well and um i it, like i don't know i don't think i like this painting too much i like the end result but during it I don't know the first the first bit of me doing it before I left to walk with my mom I was like yeah this is going good this is going good and then I left and I came back and I was in a different like headspace and like mindset and um and I didn't I don't know I wasn't like feeling as loose and flowy as I was the first time when I when I started the painting so I don't know I feel like it's it could have gone a different way, but it went one way, so, but I, I don't know, in the end, I still like it, it's not my favorite, and it wasn't my favorite process, to be honest, but that's fine, it's fine, I made something, and it's cool, so there's that, um, but yeah, um, I, where am I going with this? Again, trying to be more intuitive, and picking colors that I like, and in places that I like, and and yeah, um, I, I don't know. I'm, I feel like I say this every time I overwhelm myself with what to do and I just need to like, I don't know. I don't know. I try and be intuitive. So like when I sit down and paint, I'm like, do I want to paint? So like the other day, so like the beginning of this painting or video, I was like, I'm going to draw. And I really liked that. And I was going, you know, with the flow, not really, you know, pressuring myself to make it look good but then halfway through or not halfway through but when I came back to this painting I was like I feel like I was putting that pressure on myself like it needs to look good and it's like whoa 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 there doesn't always need to okay it doesn't and then also I was gonna do a voiceover about something and I told myself I'd remember and then I don't remember so I know there's something in my brain that I wanted to talk about, but I, I don't know right now. So I'm going to pause it for a second and we're going to think really hard. And if I can think hard enough, I'll come up with a better voiceover. Okay, wish me luck. Okay, so I guess what I've been having a hard time with is all of the ideas that I want to do. And like there's all these types of styles I want to do. And it's like... I don't know. Oh, okay, bye. Okay, we didn't end up going to the cross, but we came to another cool little spot. It's hidden, but there's a really nice view. So, yeah, so there's like all these styles I want to do, but then when I... D.O.G. Sir... I don't know if you can hear that. When he gets bored, oh my goodness. He's got this like thing full of toys and he'll knock them over and spread them all over the floor, but doesn't even play with all of them. He's just bored. Okay, apparently the ball was at the very bottom of the of his toy barrel and he needed that. So, um, yeah, so there's like all these styles I want to do. So like they're, I don't even know what they're called. Like I, that's that's another thing too. There's all these arts. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, before I get into what I was just saying, I don't know if it's just me, but it's like 
this is this is the way my brain works if i go into my room and i were to do the voiceover which i do most of the time i feel like i'm being lazy like it's just because i'm in the setting of my room and i feel like i'm supposed like like for some reason if i'm in my room i'm not being productive But that's not true all the time because yesterday I was in my room and I was cleaning out a bunch of clothes and I was productive. But it's like if I'm sitting doing a voiceover, I'm not. I don't know why. And then so it's like if I'm in my living room, even if I'm just watching videos on my phone, I feel like I'm being productive because I'm spending time with my animals and I'm like I'm in the presence of them. But if I'm in my room and I'm on my phone, then I feel like a piece of poo who's lazy and doesn't do anything but that makes no sense that that thought process makes no sense and like uh, I told my therapist that and she's just and I don't I don't know that's just me but so it's like I thought oh if I do my voiceover out here I'm killing two birds with one stone I'm doing my voiceover but then I'm also spending time with my animals but then at the same time my animals sometimes they do things that just overstimulate me and I'm just trying to focus on something and then I start to get all aggro and I don't want to be aggro because it's like they're just animals they're not doing anything on purpose you know like Dioji he was just wanting to play because I haven't taken him out yet today to play and so yeah um yeah there's all these little weird rules I have in my brain that I'm trying to like knock down because that makes no sense like taking a nap in the middle of the day I feel like absolute piece of poo poo because you know and I'm thinking like oh my mom my dad they work so hard they're always doing something and my dad's always like I'm tired and I, I gotta do this and I'm thinking wow I'm not doing life right because I'm not tired and I have and I don't have much to you know it's like but at the same time it's like that's my dad's life. That's not my life, you know? Um, I don't have kids yet. He has kids, and so does my mom, you know? I mean, and I'm saying my dad just because it's, like, my dad, he, he works from home. Like, he would work in an office. He just doesn't have one right now, but he works from home. So he does, like, the cooking, or not, like, he cooks and cleans and stuff, too, and works. And then my mom works at the Cape Store with me, and she only has a couple days off. So it's, like they're always doing stuff and so I and and you know I think we're also in like this time of day or this age of life um society where it's like the hustle culture and if you're not hustling you're not doing the right thing and and like my mom told me one time I accidentally cut it off oh my gosh I cut it off but so my mom told me one time I forget what I was doing but she goes if you have time to do that, then, you, like, you have more time to do other stuff, and I was thinking, I was just, like, that really stuck with me, and so, and I'm not blaming her, I'm not blaming anybody, it's just, like, that's the society we live in, where it's, like, you need to be doing something constantly, and if you're not, you know, you're, you're categorized as lazy, or, or stagnant, or you're not trying to get your life into a good direction, like, whatever, I want to try and not be like that, okay? I want to feel okay not doing something because it, that is okay to not always be doing something, you know? And it's like, I don't know. I, I, a lot of us are stuck in like this flight or fight um, like mode and that's like really unhealthy for your body and your mindset. And I feel like, I don't know, that's probably what I don't know I'm not diagnosing myself but it seems like that is the issue no I'm just kidding I don't know but it's like I I just I I want to change that mindset so badly because it's like you know what I see my parents but it's like again that's not my life okay like they have they have kids they have other responsibilities that I don't have right now so it's like you know so I'm trying to work on you know not not being so mean to myself and putting myself down when I'm like oh you're not doing anything so like so instead of you know feeling like a piece of poo I've just been trying to change that which seems like it's going against what I was just saying because like the past few days like I reorganized my kitchen partially cleaned it whatever cleaned my room I cleaned out so many clothes of mine and that's that was hard for me because a lot of stuff I've kept over the years because I'm like oh my mom bought it for me she wanted me to look good in it in this like pink it was like a pink um 
long sleeve, really pretty, had little pearls on it. It was, it, it was great. It's just, I had to be honest with myself and be like, you're not going to wear this. You've never once worn it. And it's like, as much as mom loves it and she bought it for you, let's be honest with yourself because it's taking up room that you could be using for something, you know, that you do actually use. So like I did that the other day or yesterday and so I'm feeling a lot better with that. Um, but yeah, I'm trying, like, I guess, I guess what I'm trying to do is, you know, my house, I'm going to just preface by saying this, I'm, I'm renting. So there's things I can't do to my house to make it look better. That would farly, that would greatly, um, impact the way I see my house and my life, I guess. Like, for example, the carpets, they haven't been changed in seven years and um it's actually against california law not to have them changed and we've spoken about it before and i'm not trying to bash this this um management or anything like that but it's like you can't raise my rent if i uh, you know what i'm saying anyways anyways this is getting way way further away from what i originally started but that's fine we're being intuitive we're going with what needs to be said doesn't need to be said but i want to say it so, yeah, um, so I guess I've been, I've been trying to just keep up with cleaning a lot more, and, like, for, for a while, when I first moved into this place, and I live with roommates, I was, like, distraught, I was like, this place is disgusting, I, you know, I'm living with three dudes, I, you know, this is not how I wanted, how I want our home life to be, like, it's a mess, it looks like a trap house, like, and it would cause me like such pain to even just go into the kitchen and begin cleaning because it's like some of them some of the dishes weren't mine and I'm I'm dealing with that issue right now actually I've hidden some of my dishes so some of them don't grab them um because they love to use them and then not clean them so I've hid them so like essentially I'm just trying to like create like micro habits I guess to like you know keep up with the I don't know instead of letting things just start to pile up and get worse and worse like like the best example not not like get worse and worse but you know well kind of it depends like if you're talking about laundry and dishes it'll get worse but like like it was it was the same thing with my youtube channel i bought the little um tripod stand and was like okay well when my desk looks better it's like no just do it so it's like you know the other day i did clean my desk and i had been waiting and waiting for some reason and then finally one day i was like it's gonna it's bad you just need to do it and i did and it's like oh good so it's like by creating these you know by re wiring you know neuroplasticity i love that if you don't know what that means look it up but the spark notes version is like rewiring your brain to think or to create new neural pathways which is like a way to think you know um if that wasn't a very good explanation but it's like okay um quick example before the video ends let's say um okay my example i i I hate doing dishes. I hate when they pile up. But if I were to change my brain being like, I'm so grateful to be able to even wash these dishes. I'm in abundance. I'm, I'm thankful to even have dishes to wash. That's creating like a neural pathway. I, I think that's it. Oh, God. Or maybe that's a completely different word. Anyways, it's just an, it's just a new way to think. It's a new, um, anyways, look it up. I'm not a neuroscientist. I just research sometimes. But so, yeah, so I've been trying to just, you know, like I, for, for example, I make my bed every morning. That's something I've always done. Um, actually, no, it wasn't. I listened to something and you all should probably listen to it too. It's so motivational. It's a Navy SEAL commencement speech and it starts off by making your bed. Oh, I love that speech. That really gets me going. Like that makes me want to just like run 50 million miles and become like a superhero. But alas, I'm a superhero in training. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, uh, we all, um, we all, um, I don't know where I'm going with end. So I'm just going to end it here. Thank you for listening to my mini rant slash something, my thoughts. Just, you know what? I'm just going to say this. 
my voiceovers are gonna be like little video voice diaries okay so if you don't like it just just turn your volume down (laughs) i guess um all right well anyways i hope you all have a good rest of your day um happy holidays wherever you are in the world may you be happy may you be safe may your heart be full of peace um yeah uh please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell if you want to be notified and if all goes well wednesdays will be upload days wednesdays travel full okay bye